I have a special surprise for you this evening. Carly and I were talking about her battle and my previous battle, and we found out that she's a singer. So Carly's going to come and sing the national anthem for you tonight. It's my pleasure to give the mic to her. Freshman Carly Gonzalez with the national anthem. It is Dig Pink Night here at Milford High School. A lot of events going on, a lot of raffles and charities to help the fight against breast cancer. And of course, cancer has come very close to home with this Milford volleyball program, as well as Milford High School, of course. As longtime coach Linda Zakili has beat cancer twice after long battles with the disease and Carly Gonzalez, a freshman here at Milford High School, has also uh, been diagnosed with cancer and is battling cancer as well. Millis is led by ninth year head coach Lisa Faris. Milford led by first year head coach Jay Guinan as the Scarlet Hawks are set to serve it up. Zor Grangian with the opening serve, the setup from Millis's side. A good volleyball to start things off as there's a bump by Halpin. And now the front line for Millis trying to respond. And there was Manzin from the back and that is going to be a Milford point. Did not quite get the air that she wanted and the Scarlet Hawks are on the board to start things off. Heading back to the line, Lauren Zorangian. Orangian bumped by the libero in the back line for Millis. There's Powers, that's off the net, it's a tie game. Scarlet Hawks four and nine overall, three and eight in the Hockamock. Millis one and 11 overall, one and nine out of the TVL. Set to serve for Millis, Hannah Finley. Finley to the back row, too long. A 2-1 lead for the Scarlet Hawks. Stepping to the line is Kara Helpin, the captain. One of three captains for this Scarlet Hawks team. And the official squaring things away at the scores table. And some nice self-made pink jerseys for the Milford Scarlet Hawks tonight. Alpin set to serve it away to the back line. There's a hit on the left side by Manson. A good save in the back row, but not quite far enough. And Manson comes up with the kill. Set to serve for Millis. That was Molly Kane on the serve. 
Set up by Zorangian, went to the back row and could not be handled by Donovan. Another Scarlet Hawks point. Nice work by the front line. On the serve, it is Juliana Tracy. Set up in the front row. Scarlet Hawks, front line coming through again, coming up with the kill that time, Jill Powers. And in case you missed it, the starters for Millis are Ali Smith, Bailey Shea, Haley Donovan, Julia Breed, Lydia Flaherty, Mandy Payne, as well as Tony Manzin. Okay, the Scarlet Hawks starters in just a moment. There's a hit from the right side, the setup. From the left corner, a hard hit to the back row by Anton Ellis. And that is just past the reach of Halpin, a Millis point. For the Scarlet Hawks, Kara Halpin, Samantha Branch, Lauren Zor Zorangian, Ali Mamadou, Kayla Antonellis, and Kelly Reichert. Bump from the back row, the setup by Zorjanian, and a hard hit from the left corner. Bump by Halpin. Nice dig by Ford. A hard hit from the right corner. The Scarlet Hawks rack up another point. Kelly Reichert coming through. Riker, a nice hit from the corner. She'll come out of the game. Coming in, Ali Zagami. At the service line, it's Ali Collins. Set up on the corner, a good block in front. Millis ends up with the point. It was a good block by Jill Powers, but Ali Collins could not handle it. Millis serve, that was Manzin on the serve, mishandled by Halpin, an ace for Manzin. Five all here in matchup number one, between Milford and Millis. Serve from the back line. Good block out in front by Freed. Millis gets the point off the block. That violation in front. Manson on the serve. The setup. Little hit from the corner, and the response is good by Millis. They went for the tip over, and that response just barely stayed in bounds. Manson serve, set up in front by Collins, hit from the corner by Zagani, and that one's too long. It's been a back and forth matchup so far as Antonellis hits it towards the back line. There's a bump by Collins. The set up and that is just too long by Powers. Allie Smith to the service line. A push over from the back line and a nice block. Zagami. Zagami and Powers combined on the effort. Now Powers at the line. Bumped by Manson. Powers. There's Collins and a hit from the right corner. Good dig out. Nice effort by Millis as Juliana Tracy gave it the little push over. 
And then right on the line, Kara Halpin, a beauty. Milford to serve, Jill Powers. There's a bump from the back line to set up. Tracy, and it is Kara helping, but it's just too long. Oh no, excuse me. Looked like the official signaled Millis Point. Now Jill Powers again. 9-8 lead for Milford. Helping from that corner has been sensational as Collins sets her up. Good dig out from the back row. The setup out in front. Bump on the corner by Zagami. And the hit over will award Milford another point. The middle of the front line getting it done. Juliana Tracy. Jill Powers to serve. Hard hit to the back row. And Molly Kane could not handle it. That's an ace. Powers to serve once again. Another hard hit to the back row. That was off of Donovan. And the response by Millis this time is good. Job by the middle of the pack for the Mohawks. To the line, Haley Donovan, the libero. Just set up in front by Collins from the corner is Shirelli. And that one's off the net. Milford Point. To the line. Lauren Zoranjanian. Lauren Zoranjian. And that is a Millis point. Hannah Finley to serve for Millis. Played by Zoranjian, and it's over. Another Scarlet Ox point. Nice job by Zoranjian, a little tap there. Set the Scarlet Ox up to get the ball back. Helping to serve. From the corner, set up out in front, hit over by Manzin. Set up by Zarangian from the corner. Good defense. But that one's off the net. They're not going to get that one over. Nice job from the corner by Anton Ellis. Back to serve Halpin. Senior captain puts it to the back row. Donovan. With an awkward bump, Allie Smith keeps it alive. The set up in front, a little tap over, and that is going to be enough for the point. And Juliana Tracy comes up with the kill. Millis needs a timeout. A 15 to 10 lead for the Scarlet Hawks. Milford off to the early lead. It was back and forth through the beginning part. Scarlet Hawks starting to pull ahead a little bit. Is Kara Helpin back to serve. I drew the timeout from uh, Lisa Faris. Both these teams desperate to rack up some wins. As that's to the back row. Bump by Kane, and then a hard hit over is just too far. That will bring Helpin back to the line.
Alfred sends it flying to the back row. It's set up by Smith, double hit call and a Milford point. Halpin with another ace, 17-10. As she serves again, a beauty of a serve to the left corner. And that is going to be another Scarlet Hawks point. Halpin on a streak. And some communication going on here among the officials. It's a sea of pink here at Milford High School as it's the Dig Pink Night to help in the fight against breast cancer. A lot of great events going on to help fund a very good cause that have certainly touched close to home here at Milford. Good volley going on and that is off of Manson. She could not get that one over. Another Scarlet Hawks point, the middle of the line, getting it done. Juliana Tracy played a huge part in that point as Halpin serves once again. And an ace. It's four aces by Halpin and another timeout by Millis as they find Milford pulling away. It's 20 to 10, Milford Scarlet Hawks. You're watching Girls High School Varsity Volleyball on Milford TV. Scarlet Hawks will serve. Kara Halpin back to the line. As Millis tries to regroup and get back into this match, Milford off to the early 20 to 10 lead. Halpin is on a streak from the service line. Her sixth serve in a row. A beauty to the back line. The tip over was from Kane. Nice job by Powers, putting that one back into Millis territory. An attempted block by Tracy, the setup out in front from the corner. And the Scarlet Hawks get the point. Kelly Reichert. And back to the line again. Kara Halpin open to continue the streak. the back line, a bump by the libero, Donovan, the setup out in front, a nice block. Another tip over, and I think that is going to, oh no, looked like she might have hit the net, but Milford gets the point, and obviously the judge has a lot better view than we do. Nice job by Anton Ellis. Back to the line again is Halpin. To the back row, right through the left side for the ace. Can't get any more clear of an ace than that. Helping to serve. And some of the official talking over at the scores table. That's the pause here. Halpin's ninth straight serve. Set up and the push over, bump by Zarangian and from the corner that time was Riker, but this time could not get it into Millis territory. To the line, Molly Kane for the Mohawks. Hard hit. Set up in front by Zarangian from the corner is a point. Oh no, just out of bounds. It was a late signal. The official on our near side had to think it over. There's Kayla Antonellis on the misfire. Molly Kane to serve. Set up by Powers and now in front. And there is another great Scarlet Hawks point. That came from Reichert after the setup from Zarangian. Reichert with the kill. Reichert so far, I'm tallying three kills. 
My stat's very unofficial, however. There's a nice block in front. Jill Powers. And that'll be it for match number one. The Milford Scarlet Hawks take down Millis 25 to 12 in match number one. And we will head to match number two. You are watching high school girls varsity volleyball on Milford TV. We are just about set for match number two. Milford taking match number one, 25 to 12. As the four and nine Scarlet Hawks trying to rack up their fifth win here of the season. Millis has struggled this year. Millis is a young, young team. They actually only have two seniors on or three seniors on their roster. And they have six sophomores and one junior as well as a freshman. So this is a young team under ninth year head coach Lisa Faris. Tom Nappy on the call as it is dig pink night here at the, at the Milford Gymnasium to support the fight against breast cancer. So if you see the Milford pink jerseys, don't adjust your TV sets as Milford will start things off with a point. Side out by Morgan Kane. And the Scarlet Hawks have the serve. They'll send Kate Halpin back to the line. She went on an absolute tear in match number one. Coming up with five aces and seven points during her stretch serving. Back from the bump row by Branch. Hard smash from the side of the line by Antonellis. Kara Halpin back to serve. Antonellis got some good velocity on that one. This one a slow, steady serve to the back. Hit from the corner is rejected by the net. Cassie Ford was trying to knock that one over. Halpin will continue the serving stretch. Three nothing Milford. Halpin will make it four nothing. Score that an ace. Seven now for Halpin. This to the near side corner. The setup towards the middle. Milford going to have to play some defense here. Nice bump over by Tracy. And this is back to Branch. Nice hit from the front line. Good volley going on here. There's Sarangian, and then from the corner is Antonellis, and that is going to be a push by Zarangian. The setup. And coming up with the point there was Tracy. I want to say that was a double hit on Millis. Tracy grabs the kill. Helping to serve. Alpin off the net, first mistake of the game. She went on quite a stretch, continuing her success from match number one and putting Milford up early. She's going to take a breather and get some water as M Mandy Payne will serve for Millis. Bump by Branch, and the shutdown for the point. Kelly Reichert with the kill. Riker just stuffed that one down right in the middle of the floor for the Scarlet Ox point. Juliana Tracy to serve. To the back row. Bump by Breed. Good save by Tracy. And not able to get to it was Antonellis. That one was in front of the scores table. Millis to serve. Libero will serve. Haley Donovan. Towards Milford's back line. From the corner and found some open space. Antonellis. Looked like Antonellis was in a little trouble here. She really had a reach for that one, but Millis 
Left the left side of the front line wide open, an easy point for the Scarlet Hawks. Now to serve Ali Collins. To the back row, bump by Donovan. Followed up by another bump by Kane. Libero from Milford Branch bumped that one. Hit from the corner from Antonellis. Back into Scarlet Ox territory. A pair of bumps as Antonellis puts it over. Now looking for the stuff on the front line. Coming through with the save is Collins. And then the pushover by Powers, but it's too wide. Side out, and it's a Millis point. Mohawk serve to the back line and an Aaron serve. We'll give the Scarlet Ox the ball right back. It's Julia Breed. Now to serve for Milford, Kayla Antonellis. Just past the reach of Ford. An ace. Ellis at the service line once again. To the back row, and the bump by Donovan could not be contained. Another ace. Anton Ellis right into the net. She was trying to just edge the net there and get it towards the middle of the floor. It's a strategy that a lot of servers like to do and sometimes it will cost you a point. Milford up comfortably, 10 to four as Molly Kane puts it over, the bump by Branch. Good hit from the front line, but a great block from the left side of the Millis front line. Tony Manzin. Kane puts it over. Nice hit by Halpin, who's back into the game. As Collins keeps this one in the air, and the hit over is too long. Millis point. There's Antonellis. There's a bump by Halpin, set up for Halpin. Slams it to the back row, kept alive by the Mohawks. Great block in front, still alive. Bump over by Donovan the Libero. And now put back into play by Millis and not able to get it over was Manson. It was Ali Collins who last got that over for the Scarlet Hawks. Collins marked with the kill, Jill Powers at the line. Right to the back row, bump by Donovan. And from the corner, there's Flaherty and the Scarlet Hawks get it right back into Millis territory. And a nice job on the front line, Juliana Tracy gave it the little touch over. Wide open floor in front, an easy point for the Scarlet Hawks. Jill Powers into the net. Lydia Flaherty to serve. To the back row, bump by Halpin, and that one is going to be a net violation. Allie Collins looked like she got a piece of the net as she tried to send that one over. To the back row, bump by Branch. And a set up by Collins. And off the net goes Manson. Millis just having a hard time keeping up the volleys, and they're getting they're getting uh, destroyed up front. Just getting blocked a lot 
in this game so far as Sarangian puts this one to the back line. A nice save by Kane and Millis gets the point. Great job by Kane and then on the corner, Breed tap over. At the line is Tony Manson. Manson, hit that one right towards Reichert. And Reichert put it back into Millis territory. The mishandle will give Milford the ball back. And the point. 14 and nine is Kara Halpin set to serve. Halpin, wide open floor in front of Kane. No one was covering the near side. Credit Halpin with another ace. To the back line, there's another one. Donovan was trying to die for it, could not get any air under it, and the timeout will be called by Lisa Faris as Millis down big once again in match number two. 16 and nine, Milford, Scarlet Hawks already up a match. You're watching Girls Varsity High School Volleyball on Milford TV. The Milford Scarlet Hawks up 16 and nine as we continue on in match number two off the Millis timeout. Kara Halpin back at the line. And I wonder what head coach Lisa Faris was saying there. She's probably telling the Mohawks, hey listen, you gotta cover the entire floor. We're leaving a lot of wide open spaces. And the official's going to have a chat at the scores table, straighten everything out. Halpin set to serve, hoping to start another stretch as she did from the end of game one to the beginning of game two. And a nice block out in front. They do get it over into play. Juliana Tracy was on that block. Kept alive. And into the net goes Kane. Millis just having a hard time getting a grasp of the ball. They're not setting very well. It's very wild sets, very wild hits. His help and set to serve. There's a bump by Kane. Nice job by Zarangian. Bump over by Antonellis. The attempted block. Kept in play by Zarangian. And then another push over by Antonellis will lead to a Milford point. Tracy got the last hit on it. Juliana Tracy racking up the kills tonight as well. In my unofficial scorecard I ever down for six. Kara Halpin set to serve. Bump by Donovan. Oh, some miscommunication there. That was just simply miscommunication. Fortunately, everyone's okay after the little trip up. Halpin will serve again. As I said, Millis, they're a young team. Certainly a lot of learning to do. Only three seniors on the roster. And that one is into the net by Shea. Credit Halpin with the point. Kara Halpin to serve. 20 to nine. Right to the back line, another ace. Diving was Tony Manzin. Halpin certainly pumping her serving statistics in this one. To the back line, bump by Donovan. Put back over, Halpin will set it up, another set, and the hit from the corner is too wide. Antonellis aired it out there. She hit that one halfway to Millis. To the service line, Morgan Kane. And that is going to be a Millis point. Nice effort by the two backliners for the Scarlet Hawks. Samantha Branch and Jane Schuler. 
Into the net. Scarlet Hawks get the ball back. You're going to see a lot of substitutions, I think, going down pipe for Milford. Juliana Tracy on the serve to the back line. The bump by Donovan set up out in front. Back into Milford territory. There's a bump by Zarangian. Another bump from the corner. Noah sets it over. Good set up here. Nearly a block, but too much force by Jill Powers. And that results in a Milford point. Zarangian on the assist. Jill Powers on the kill. Juliana Tracy. Right to the back row. Make Millis work for it. And they will get the point that time. And that's what the Scarlet Hawks are doing. They're serving right to that back line. They know Millis having a hard time distributing the ball once it hits that back line. So they're gonna make him work for it. And it's certainly paying off. Donovan into the net. And that's been another issue for Millis. They're serving. A lot of Aaron serves. Just gives Milford the ball right back. Allie Collins to serve. Game point for Milford. And she's got it. The Scarlet Hawks take match number two by the same exact score as match number one. 25 to 12. Scarlet Hawks one win away from the sweep. You are tuned in to Milford High School Girls Varsity Volleyball on Milford TV. We are ready for match number three. You are watching Milford Scarlet Hawks Girls Varsity Volleyball on Milford TV. Tom Nappy on the call. Scarlet Hawks up two matches to nil as they have beat Millis 25 to 12 in both matches here on Dig Pink Night here at Milford High School. Dig Pink Night raising funds to support breast cancer awareness and research. A lot of high schools throughout the country are doing Dig Pink Night this month. As Jill Powers set to serve for Milford, we do have some new bodies on the court as they are up comfortably in this one. We'll get you those names in a minute as that one is towards the back line. And it is going to be just too long by L.A. Mamadou. Allison Janowski, uh, excuse me, Allison Chekinowski, Jill Powers, Juliana Tracy, Stephanie Shirelli, and Mamadou with the hit there. Brianna Croto are the ones on the floor for Milford, and that one is into the net. So Mamadou ends up with the point there. Scarlet Hawks serve. towards the back line. Off the net, a Milford point. There's Stephanie Shirelli on the serve. And she will go back to the line. The junior looking to get a streak going here. Nice serve to the corner and an ace. Shirelli back to the line. And that one just off the net. Jane Schuler coming into the game for Stephanie Shirelli. Everyone's going to get a chance in this one for Coach Jay Ginnon. There's a Millis point. Not able to get to it was the Ubero, Kyra Alves. The 
it seemed like that whistle blew before she even had a chance at it. Here's Elves again trying to dig it out, another nose point. Kyra Alves, a sophomore. Serve, Alves this time digs it out. The set up, or the set over by Jekinoski. Alves sets it up. Another set up for the corner, and there's a Milford point. Proto coming up with the point. Proto with the kill there. That was off of a good set. Set up there by Powers, and there is the Alv serve into the net. Five for Millis as their libero is back into the game. Tony Manzin. and puts it over. Set up out in front, a little push over, and that was tremendous work by Juliana Tracy. Saw the open gap and just pushed it over. Sometimes all you need is the little tap. Wide open space in the middle of the floor. Good point. Jekinoski will be too long. To the service line for Millis, Bailey Shea. Side out, Scarlet Hawks point. To the line, Brianna Croto. Junior. Off the net. Coach Ginnon getting some of his young players in the game. Some good experience here as Millis still has many of their starters in as Mandy Payne serves that one. And stepped out of bounds trying to set that one up. And that will give Millis the point. Joe Powers with a nice effort. Mandy Payne. And that is Short to the right. Scarlet Hawks get the ball back. Here is Juliana Tracy. Nice serve for the ace. This is Juliana's first ace of the game. Tracy puts it towards the side and it's side up. Tony Manson. Two back row, nice job by the libero but couldn't quite get it high enough. Kyra Alves on the attempt and then a nice dive by Jill Powers. 10-8 Millis. Milford up two matches to none. The one in the first and second, 25-12. Both times. Over from the corner. By Shirelli. Set up for Mamadou. To the back line, good bump by Payne. But unable to handle it was Finley, and it's a Milford point. Jill Powers to the back line. There's the setup. 
Payne, and then the attempted hit over with Shea, and it's no good. Powers back to the line. Millis just having all kinds of troubles on the back line tonight. There's another one. Set up by Payne. Push over. And a carry. So a Milford point. Jill Powers on a streak. Bump on the back line by Manzin from the corner. And a nice job by Powers keeping it alive. Millis will end up with the point. Finley to serve. 11 all here in match number three. Anna Finley powers out one of the back. There's Powers, another bump over. And that one too long. Jekinoski comes up big with that bump and that leads to a Scarlet Hawks point. Nice serve to the back line and you can call that an ace. Stephanie Shirelli. Shirelli. Bumped by the libero Donovan, and that is not going to be fielded cleanly by Allie Smith, and it's another point off the serve. Bumped by Manzi. Puts it over. And that one looked like it might have went side out, but certainly not far enough to say it was definitely going to go out. So I think that was a nice job by Shirelli playing that one. 14 to 12 Milford lead. Allie Smith serves. Nice bump out in front and the push over, it's kept alive. Good job on the corner by Milford. It's Jill Powers. With the save there to get Milford the ball back. And a nice little bump over by Jekinowski. Jekinowski, excuse me. And a net violation leads to another Milford point. Mamadou. Side out. Another point off the alley. Mamadou serve. Millis going to take a timeout as once again things starting to slip away in match number three. So head coach Lisa Paris calls the timeout. You're watching Milford High School Girls Varsity Volleyball on Milford TV. Off the timeout, Milford up 17 to 12. Milford has not really needed a timeout all game long as it has been all Scarlet Hawks here on Dig Pink Night here at Milford High School. There's a nice serve by Mamadou and that is an ace. Good attempt by Ali Smith, couldn't get any air underneath the dig attempt. Mama do again, serve to the corner. She put that right where she wanted it. And this Manson went for the dive there. She keeps serving like this, you might see a lot more of her. Owens to the back line. Hit over by Libero, nope, hit in the net. Another Scarlet Hawks point. L.A. Mamadou is on a stretch. The senior set to serve it up again. To the corner and it is just side out. Libero, Kyra Alves back into the game for Milford. Lydia Flaherty on the serve. The set up out in front and the hit over is too far. Brianna Croto 
He's trying to send that one to the back line. Off the net, good serve by Lydia Flaherty. That is the best serve all night by Millis, that's for sure. They've struggled from the service line. And that is going to be a violation. I think it's because she stepped over the line. She stepped over the line when she served. That was the ruling. So the error will lead to the Milford point and the serve. Bump over. There's a setup from the back and on the corner, the little tap over and the Scarlet Hawks get another point. Nice job by Croto. Excuse me, she uh, stepped on the line there, stepped over the middle line, so it's a Millis point. So the Mohawks will serve. So no point there. 21-16 Milford. Billy Shea sends it to the back. Hit over, and did she get a piece of the net? Yes, she did. Juliana Tracy, I think she was trying to put it off the net maybe there and in the Millis territory, but I think she got a piece of it herself. Bailey Shea back to the line. Good serve, well dug out, the tap over, and the Scarlet Hawks are not on the board. Millis point off the net, Milford thought they had it, I thought they had it, but I guess Joe Powers went off the net. Now, the official communicating with uh, Jill Powers. As you know, in high school volleyball, the officials communicate with the players a lot to communicate with the other official. And now, all right, so they give the point back to Milford. So a change of call here. So Jill Powers did get the uh, kill there. So they change the call. Scarlet Hawks up 22-17. Milford will serve. That one's to the back corner, and a nice little tip over by Shirelli. Shirelli. <laughs> to the back line. And no need for a block there is off the serve, the Scarlet Hawks get another point. It's now game serve. Brianna Croto back to the line. Sends it to the back and just too far. Tony Mann's in the serve. And Coach for Millis, Lisa Faris, having a discussion with the official. Now Mandy Payne in the line. Bump on the back, kept in play. There's the bump over. There's Shirelli who got it back over. Good volley going on here. And there's a nice back bump, which leads to a Milford point, Jill Powers. Scores the winning point. 25 to 18 is the final of match three. As the Scarlet Hawks beat Millis in match one, 25 to 12. Match two, 25 to 12. Match three, 25 to 18. They get the sweep, improve to five and nine. Overall, Millis falls to one and 12. A great win for the Milford Scarlet Hawks as they celebrated Dig Pink Night here at Milford High School during this match to help in breast cancer research and funding. And that will wrap up coverage of Milford High School girls varsity volleyball on Milford TV. For Rob O'Keefe, I'm Tom Nappy. Enjoy the rest of your day, ladies and gentlemen.